Hey YouTube! Today I wanted to show you a process of a card captor Sakura gouache painting that I worked on for a show back in November. I painted this on a wood panel, so I wanted to show you a little bit on how I transfer my drawings to the panel. So I had a rough sketch and I didn't have any transfer paper so I decided to transfer it with charcoal and it's a really simple way of transferring a drawing so all you have to do is take a stick of compressed charcoal and flip the drawing over and just cover the back of the drawing with charcoal and then flip it over trace over your drawing with a pen or something a little bit harder than a normal pencil so a mechanical pencil or or a ballpoint pen would be fine you just want to get the basic gesture of the drawing and any small important elements that will help you finish off the drawing afterwards. After it's transferred, I go in with my red Prismacolor Varathin pencil and add in a little bit more details. Once that's finished, I take it outside and spray it with a workable fixative just to keep any of the charcoal from moving around. And once it's dry, I'll bring it back in and I usually do a layer of matte medium. And that's really to ensure that none of the pencil will smear when you start painting over it. I suggest doing something like this, either workable fixative, matte medium, or a combination of the two, whenever you're working on canvas or wood panel. And once it's dry, it should have um, a really rough texture to it that will help the paint from grabbing on to the surface. For this painting, I wanted to use my Shinhan Pass hybrid watercolor gouache paints that they were nice enough to send me. This is a really new concept that I've actually never seen before. So these paints are similar to gouache in that they are very opaque and you can use them really thick and they get reactivated so you can work with them even after they've dried but because they're a hybrid you can also water them down and it gives you a beautiful watercolor texture with granulation and everything i really love how these paints work watered down and they're they're different from regular gouache because you're not supposed to use regular gouache watered down it's supposed to be opaque all the time so if you like working with watercolors and gouache, this is a really good option for you because you can really just do both with them. I was so excited to try these out and I really want to keep doing more paintings with these. The colors are really vibrant too, I love them. I'll put links down below with the art supplies I used and a link to Shinhan's website as well. So I squeezed a few colors out that I thought I was going to use and started testing them out on a little scrap piece of paper and then I got to painting. And because they, these paints are like gouache and it's difficult to layer them without them mixing, I started with the lightest color first. Once I was finished blocking in the basic colors for her dress and skin, I started working with the background.
Once the background was finished, I added in a few extra clouds with the watered down paint, so like watercolor. And I just, that's probably the favorite, my favorite part of the painting because it, it dries beautifully and it has all of the best qualities of watercolor paint. So this was a pretty simple drawing. Um, I added in a couple of metallic elements to it and mostly just blocked in most of the color and then I went over it with the Shinhan Art Touch Liner Pen. They're similar to uh, Copic Multiliners or Sakura Micron Pens where they have the different sizes and there's a brush pen option as well. And then once I was finished with the entire painting, I went outside and sprayed the whole painting with another coat of workable fixative, and then I believe I sprayed it with gloss varnish as well afterwards. It's really important to seal your artwork when you're finished with it, especially when you work with materials that are reactivated by water. So any kind of gouache or watercolors or dry mediums as well, you really need to spray those when you're finished. Right, and as soon as I was finished with this, I packaged it up and sent it off to the gallery. The show, I think, is over by now, and I should be receiving it back in the mail, so I'll probably have this painting up in my shop pretty soon. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little process video and please like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!